Hey guys, in this video I want to show you my PRS SE custom trim Monty and all the mods that I did. Before we take a closer look at the guitar, I want to talk about the amp that I'm using today. All the guitar tones are from the Angle Ironball 20 head. I'm using both of the channels, so no uh, additional overdrive or distortion pedals. And the reverbs also built in. The cap that I'm using is a Palmer 1x12 loaded with a green back. First off, some specs about the guitar. It is made in Korea by World Musical Instruments. The Tremonti is a limited edition that was released 2018 in Europe. The series was called Stealth Series. And as you can see, it's in this beautiful quilt maple top veneer. And it's in satin, so there's no gloss. I hope you can see it on the camera. Um, the neck and the front is satin. And yeah, some other specs. The body is made out of uh, mahogany. The neck is maple with an ebony fingerboard. As far as I know, the other Tremonti models usually come with a rosewood fingerboard. The neck profile is the white thin, um, 22 frets on fretboard. And stock it came with P uh, Tremonti S pickups in the neck and in the bridge. Um, to volume to tone, um, there's no split coil or, or uh, coil tapping options, it's just uh, yeah, standard three-way toggle switch. At the finish of the guitar is hand-wrapped faded grey-black satin. One other thing to mention is the weight of the guitar, it's my heaviest guitar, it weighs 4.22 uh, kilos or 9.3 uh, pounds and for comparison my, my Gibson Les Paul Studio I have back there uh, it has ultra modern weight relief uh, and it weighs 3.74 kilograms or 8.24 pounds so that's it's much lighter but I think it's it's okay I mainly play sitting down so that's no no problem for me but just so you know it's I don't think it has weight relief or at least not much and it's overall my heaviest guitar <laughs> Summer 2018 I bought this guitar at Toman for 879 euros and now I want to talk about all the mods that I did. When I bought the guitar I already had a couple of mods in mind, especially I wanted to swap out the pickups. Um, I bought the original PRS Tremonti pickups, there's the bass in the neck and the treble in the bridge. And I bought them last year and Martin installed them. The pickups itself they cost me 356 euros. I'm not sure how much it costs to have them installed in a shop. As I mentioned, it's it's no coil tapping, so it's pretty easy, I would say. But yeah, maybe you, you should have to add another 100 or 150 bucks for that. Another mod is the recently released um, PRS SE locking tuners. They just pop in, you don't have to drill any holes, so that's pretty convenient. And I think they look pretty nice, they look from the front, they look very similar to the US style. From the back they're not open gear, so there's of course a difference. But when I checked the US 
uh, locking tuners go for about double the price and that was just not worth it in my opinion. With the pickups I also installed the uh, original pickup frames by PRS. One of the first mods I did I was um, I changed the speed knobs that, were, that came stuck with the guitar and bought uh, two packs of lampshade knobs, clear lampshade knobs by PRS. They're also quite costly but in terms of feel, I definitely prefer them. And last but not least, I installed um, Shala um, security lock pins in black chrome just to match the overall aesthetics of the guitar. I did cost me 541 euros 50 so the total cost of the guitar uh, the guitar itself of course and all the mods and all the changes um, cost me 1420 euros or 1680 US dollars yeah if you compare it to a price of a US Tremonti model they go for uh, 3990 euros which is roughly 4730 dollars so the total price is pretty high uh, if you include all the mods that I did, but I think it's definitely worth it and it's still just a third of the price of a US model. I just really like this guitar, it really feels great, I love the neck, the satin finish is great and uh, the, the profile, the white thin profile feels, feels awesome to play. The uh, frets are nice and round so there's no sharp edges, it's just perfect as it came. <laughs> So of course, this guitar is not as good as a US made PRS, but I think it's awesome, it plays great and with all the mods that I did, it feels really close to a core in my opinion. With the knobs, they have the, the same feeling, the original PRS pickups, the US made pickups and the aesthetics of the locking tuners. So I think in my opinion it comes pretty close and I re really like this guitar, it plays awesome, it's great for metal sounds or for, for higher gain sounds. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And yeah, see you soon, bye.